I didn't think this was going to be the year of varsity jacket. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the fall winter pieces for Bait Black. So, if you guys are unfamiliar with Bait Black, Bait Black is just another line underneath the Bait brand. And the black line is higher end. So, they use a little bit nicer materials and just higher quality items. So, you're going to see a lot of like gold finishing, a lot of black items, which makes sense with the name. But this is similar to like Ralph Lauren's purple or black label. It's just another line underneath Vape that is a little bit different, but still the same brand, just a little bit more higher end. So with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, I make streetwear content videos two to three times a week, cover brands like Vape, Supreme, Kith, whatever. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, stay tuned. But anyways, with that being said, let's get into these pieces. So I really like these. The first piece we're looking at here is like a classic Japanese bomber jacket, which the imagery on this one is really sick. We'll see better images of that later on in this post. And then we've got some corduroy pants with some chenille lettering on the sides of them. And I really, really like these. The chenille lettering is almost like that collage type of font where each letter's a little bit different. The colors are a little bit different. And I really like the brown color of these corduroy pants. The silhouette is sick. Uh, I really, really like these pants. Definitely a winner in my book. The jacket, uh, while I like it and think it's really clean, is not really my style. And then we've got some bapses. I think these bapses are pretty cool, just white on white. Uh, the star has got some little cool detailing on it there. So yeah, overall, I thought this was a really clean look. The pants are definitely the highlight of this look for me. Here's a better look at that jacket, just the imagery on the back. So we've got the Mad Bape Head logo with the tiger, and then it just says Bape Black across the top. Very traditional look, uh, very classic look. Like I said, these jackets aren't really my style, but I do appreciate when they're done right. And obviously, Bape knows how to do these jackets right and next we have the mad face mohair sweater so i really like this bape logo it's obviously different from the traditional bape logo i think it adds a little bit to this collection just kind of switches it up a little bit lets you know that it's something different even though it's still the same if that makes sense but i really like mohair i'm a huge fan of it uh so i'm a little biased maybe in this one but it does look like they're going to be releasing this in some other colorways looking at their instagram it does look like they've got like a burgundy version of this one and i actually prefer the burgundy version to this and the burgundy version is a cardigan so uh, keep that in mind if you have any interest in both of these overall i do like the cardigan more and i think the image works better on the back than it does on the front here we've got a varsity jacket with a lot of cool detailing so we've got details pretty much all over this i really like the text there on the right like top of the chest i do kind of wish it was a little bit lower i feel like it looks a little too high there but overall i still really like it and then we've just got some different like b's uh this is double b so you can tell it's bait black uh, the B on the left chest, kind of like where a varsity jacket always has a big Chanel letter, has Babe Black written in it. And then we've just got more detailing on the sleeves and stuff that say Babe Black and say some numbers and years. So I thought overall this jacket was pretty clean. There's a lot of varsity jackets coming out right now that I think are really cool. It is that time of the year, but I didn't think this was going to be the year of varsity jackets. It kind of seems like it is. And then looking at the pants here, uh, it's not too easy to tell what's going on it looks like a pretty basic pair of pants just like a silky kind of sheeny type of pant a little bit of shine there uh looks like they're just pleated a little bit but nothing crazy going on here i do like the fit the way it sits on the babes is, is really nice whoever they got to model these was like the perfect height but uh yeah overall not really crazy about the pants. and here we got what i'm gonna call the varsity cardigan i haven't seen an actual name for it but it's got those varsity flags on the back of it i think this design is really cool definitely reminiscent of college and babe always has had that college vibe to it so good to see them incorporate that kind of stuff into their higher end line but overall yeah i think this is a pretty cool piece i like the collage style type of look to this one too then again we've got a better look at those corduroy pants from earlier just these ones are in black and to be honest i don't know if i would go with the black or brown really hard uh, decision there i think both of them are really cool i think the black ones might look a little bit cooler though to be honest let me know what you guys think about it down below black or brown either way they're both super sick but i think I would choose the black ones to be honest and then we have the double mad face knitted button down cardigan I think this one's pretty cool there is a black colorway which I think is a little bit better than this one uh, not that I think the green and yellow is bad 
I just think the black and white is a little bit cleaner and easier to wear in my opinion but I think this green color is pretty cool I'm not loving the yellow I do kind of wish that was like maybe just like a brown or just like a, a little bit different of a color but regardless I still think this is a really clean piece and I do like cardigans and then we've got a sweatsuit so uh, it is kind of easy to miss on these details but these are distressed pieces so just got some like tearing here on the right shoulder above the left pocket there on the pocket there a little bit on the pants too so I don't really like distressed uh, sweatsuits like sweatpants sweatshirts I feel like distressing looks kind of weird on those items I like when stuff's like a little torn maybe by the collar or whatever but just like random distressing on sweatpants and sweatshirts just never really works in my opinion so not really a big fan of these uh, I don't like the logo as much here either I feel like it worked better on those like cardigans where it was like a big piece and it was obviously knitted in these are printed so yeah uh, these are gonna be a pass for me and then for the last piece we've got this really nice fleece like Sherpa type of jacket with a logo embroidered into the back I think the logo looks really cool here I think this was a really nice use of materials I think the thickness and like the voluptuousness of the jacket with the flat logo just adds so much to the piece I feel like it's really nice when you can see a piece and it's got almost like different layers within itself so yeah I thought they did a really good job with this one the only part I don't really like is this little like elbow pad I could have done without with that part but really I'll have to see more images of this one I'm curious if there's anything on the front I haven't been able to find any more images of these uh, on the bait black page there are images of like more of these pieces so that's why like I was able to know that there are other colorways dropping for some of these items so another item we've got here is just this uh, jacket type of thing I'm actually not even sure what to call it uh, it's got a couple pockets there it's got some interesting stitching going around the edges of the jacket and I think it's a pretty clean look the collar is interesting this is not something that I could see myself wearing but uh, I do appreciate that it is different and I do appreciate like the little small details that went into it. The gold detailing on the buttons is cool. Next we have the rainbow top so as you guys can see here it just says Bay Black across the back of it in rainbow lettering. So yeah I don't really like this. This is something you could get at like a beach store when you're on vacation. Yeah, I don't know. Not not for me. Not something I really want to buy from Babe. And then we have a pocket tee. It just says Babe Black on the pocket. So it's pretty basic. Uh, it does have like a little bit of an interesting fit, like a scoop uh, waist on it. And then on the back, it has that really faint logo. I think this one's really clean. Nothing too crazy here. They just did what they needed to do. A nice front and a nice back to a shirt. So good job there. And then we have a t-shirt with just a left chest design. Babe Black, apes together strong with their mad face logo. Uh, this one I'm not mad about. I feel like it's pretty clean, but not anything special either. So, yeah, kind of indifferent on that one. And I don't think I've showed this yet. We've got another cardigan, the single face, mad face logo. I really like the silhouette of this one. More of a classic cardigan look. The pockets are super cool here. Uh, just really a beautiful piece. I don't like that colorway. Like I said earlier, I do wish that yellow was something else or it just was white. I really like the green. The yellow is just kind of throwing me off. And then finally, the last piece is this little mock neck. Thing here going on with the mad face logo so yeah really I thought this collection was really solid I was not that familiar to Bay Black it started in 2018 which I feel like I haven't even really heard about it till now which is kind of crazy but I kind of have been out of the loop with Babe. I'm learning more about it every single day and continuing to post videos about it so if you guys made it to this point in this video I really appreciate you guys if you could hit that like and subscribe it would help me out a lot but like I said if you guys have enjoyed this content Stay tuned because we will be dropping more stuff like it. But anyways, we will see you next time. Have a good one.